Okay, hey guys, this is how to use mortars in Project Reality, and obviously a how the hell do I play this game tutorial, so let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is to ensure that you have a mortar. So we have a mortar, so we're going to jump in our mortar. Now we keep tapping F until we get to the calculator. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is punch in our range. To find that we press caps lock and at the bottom left there'll be a range which comes up when you put down a marker. If it doesn't show up it's probably because you're not squad leader so you want to ask your squad leader. Then we punch it in. Now you also have height but it's up to you if you want to play around with that. That's if you want to fire on mountains. Anyway once you've done that you want to hit calculate and then it'll come up with the angle and then you use the WS key to move the thing up and down and then you want to line it up with the f our the angle which is 1445 once it's lined up you press 1, 2 or 3 you choose what type of round you want to fire and then you just click and fire and you just keep doing that until you're out of ammo or a new fire mission comes up and that's how you use mortars Okay, next thing I'll show you is helicopters. Note that this is a audio overlay instead of... I can't use fraps for this game, it lags up way too much, don't know why. So, it's probably not going to be in time. Uh, if you have any problems, just let me know. Okay. Okay, here we go, helicopters. So, let's get straight into it. So we want to make sure we're in a squad, and we want to spawn, now we want to go grab a helicopter, the first thing we need is a pilot kit, if we can request that for helicopter, or at the supply, excuse me, supply crates, you press T, and then you click, click, and you click again on the kit, and you press G to pick it up, to Yep, you jump in. Now, I recommend for all helicopters you wait about 45 seconds. Most take 30, but I recommend 45, especially in the Huey. Once the engine started up, you're started up, you're good for takeoff. Note when you first take off, the engine's got to be really slow, but that's just the way it is. eventually it'll just warm up and it'll get faster. Okay, so we also have supply crates in the helicopter. To drop them, you press right mouse button. Obviously, uh, I've told you what supply crates do if you don't know consult my other video alright so let's just say we've got a supply request we find that supply request on our compass once you get close enough, we'll show up on the map, um, this on our HUD, as you can see in the uh, sort of bottom left now, that yellow thing. Once you fly over, we drop our crate. One thing to note, the crate doesn't fly around or anything, it just drops straight to the ground. Drops. Okay, once we've done that, we just want to land and the helipad will give us another one. And that's how you basically fly a supply helicopter stuff. Okay, so the next thing, I, the last few things I'll show you is automatic rifles. Okay, so you have deployed and undeployed. At the moment I'll show you what undeployed is. Let's look at the accuracy of undeployed. Now 
now we'll do deployed and we'll see how much accuracy improves. Now suggest waiting between 15 to 30 seconds before firing. Okay. See how much more ac see how Okay, so I'll just rearm and show you what it's like undeployed again. And then what deployed like is no scoped, which you shouldn't do. Okay, so this is undeployed again. See how much the accuracy improves. So don't do it. Okay, so the last one I'll show you is the combat engineer. Okay, so when you set off a satchel charge, you want to wait for a high pitch sort of sound, not the beep. If you set it off before you hear a high pitched frequency sound, you're gonna pre-detonate to charge, therefore it won't work. So, okay, we place it down, now we wait for the high pitch sound. That's high pitch sound. Okay, I'll play it one more time. So let's wait for it. Once you hear that, it's good to detonate. So let's detonate it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Any questions, just message me and leave a comment. Also, feel free to su subscribe and um, give me some input. Thanks guys.